Radiation damage is an injury inflicted by the treatment that's originally targeted against cancer that is collaterally inflicted on the tissues that surround the target tissue, in my case, the prostate. Generally what this causes in the short term is within weeks to months of the original treatment, some inflammatory changes exhibited by frequent urination, urgency to urinate, sometimes acute gross hematuria or blood in the urine, which typically subsides. However, there's a more chronic phase to the injury, which causes more scar formation in the bladder and contraction of the tissue, which is probably the dominant symptom and presentation that we see in urology. Well, radiation affects all uh, living things. So, um, so the same process pathophysiologically is happening to both soft tissues and to bone. It's just how they react to it. For example, certain tissues like the brain causes something called gliosis, which is, you know, it causes some scar tissue around it. Other body parts where you have, um, you know, which has the ability to more regenerate, have a different outcome. So it really depends on the body part and the type of radiation used and the type of underlying malignancy. The effects of delayed radiation can be profound, and they can include incontinence, bleeding from the bowel or from the urinary tract, inability to heal infections, loss of function, loss of feeling or, or something called neuropathy, inability to swallow, pain in the radiated area. In addition, it can lead to the inability of a surgical procedure to heal. The symptoms of the late effects of radiation can be wide and varied and, and many times very difficult to trace back to the radiation. Radiation to the brain years later may result in perhaps uh, an increased frequency of headaches, maybe new seizures, uh, maybe more somnolence, maybe some new neurologic findings. So what hyperbaric medicine does or hyperbaric uh, therapy, uh, it, it helps with uh, perfusion uh, and increasing uh, oxygen to the area of injury. So around the areas, which is really, um, when you're injuring these cells, you're kind of causing cell death and causing chronic uh, ischemia to those areas. A typical patient being treated for radiation damage will receive uh, minimally 40 hyperbaric sessions. We typically treat these patients for probably 90 minutes at pressure. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy for the treatment of delayed radiation injury is FDA approved and covered by insurance companies. One of the golden rules of imaging is, is that you don't treat the image, you treat the patient. It's about how the patient feels after the initial insult. So I refer, you know, obviously I refer to the uh, physicians at Hyperbaric Medical Solutions who make the determination uh, clinically on how the patient feels.